guys, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me, Laura. And this week we're making some teeny tiny, very small little strawberries, which I've actually called wild strawberries because they're so small and cute. But I really hope you will have a go at making these and they're definitely a yarn scrap project because they're super quick and fun to make. So let's begin. Okay, so let's make some wild strawberries. These are so small, these tiny little strawberries. But for this tutorial, we're just gonna be making the little strawberries. So if you want the leaf pattern, then that'll be in the written pattern on my website. So just head to my website, links in the description. But for the little strawberry, we are going to need three colors. We're gonna need some green yarn, some red yarn, and some white yarn. And this is a sport baby weight yarn, so it's the yarn weight of two, but you can really use any yarn that you like. And if you use a thinner yarn, you'll end up with an even smaller uh, wild strawberry. So with that, I'm going to be using a two millimeter crochet hook. So quite a small crochet hook for the yarn I'm using, but that's fine. And you're also gonna need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors as well. Okay, so let's begin. So we're gonna start off with the green yarn. So we're gonna make the top of the tiny strawberry to begin. So get your green yarn and we're going to make a slip knot to begin. And this is really super quick and easy. So we're just going to chain three, one, two, and three. And we're going to slip stitch into our first chain. So find your first chain, put your hook into there and do a slip stitch. Okay, so you get this tiny little pico. And we do that again, we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. And we're gonna slip stitch in that same very, very first chain. So go back in there and do a slip stitch. And we're gonna do that one more time. Chain three, one, two, and three. And again, slip stitch in that first chain. It looks quite big now. And there we go, that is the top of our little strawberry. So we're gonna put that down, just cut our yarn. Just pull that through. And we're gonna put this to the side and come back to that later. So the next thing we're gonna do is get our red yarn. It's a very quick project, this one. <laughs> and again, we're going to do a little slip knot with our red yarn. And you can either use a magic circle, magic ring, or a chain four loop. Um, I'm gonna do a chain four loop, which is a little bit easier for beginners, usually. <laughs> so we're gonna chain four. One, two, three, and four. Put our hook into our first chain and do a slip stitch. So bring the yarn through, straight through the loop of our hook. We've got a little loop of change, so kind of like the beginning of the green part. <laughs> Into there, we're going to do nine single crochet. It's gonna be a bit of a tight fit, but we'll do a little chain one to begin just for leverage. Don't count that as a stitch. Then putting our hook into the center of our loop, so careful not to put it into your first chain, which looks bigger. Going into the middle of our full chain loop, we do a single crochet. So this pattern's in US terminology, so in UK terms, that's gonna be a double crochet. And we want nine of those, so go back in there again and do another one. So that's one, it's a little bit fiddly at first. <laughs> so that's one, then two. So we want nine, okay, two. Three, eight, and one more. You may have to just pull them apart a little bit to fit in number nine. So nine single crochet. And we're not going to join our round. Just make sure to pull out your stitches so uh, you can clearly see your nine single crochet because sometimes the first ones get tucked under your last ones. So you should have nine single crochet and we're not gonna join. We're just gonna go straight into our first single crochet and we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch around. So just count up to nine. Just make sure I'm working into the first one, two, four, six, eight, nine. Yep, so going into there, 
do one single crochet. We'll do one single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm just going to count to nine. So one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and the last one, nine. Okay, so nine single crochet. You want it popping out this way. Then what we're going to do is we are going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. So we go straight into the next stitch, which is here. Do one single crochet. And then we're going to single crochet two stitches together. So I'm just going to do a normal decrease because it's a little bit easier. So we're going to go into the next stitch bring the yarn through, then into the next stitch, bring the yarn through. And I say normal, because normally I do an invisible decrease. So then we yarn over, pull through all three to do a decrease. And we're going to repeat that all the way around as well. So in the next stitch, we just do one single crochet. Then we single crochet two together. So into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, then into the next stitch, bring the yarn through, pull through all three for a decrease. Okay, so we're going to do that, I think, is it twice more, I think? <laughs> My maths is terrible. One single crochet in the next stitch, then single crochet two together. And I think that's actually it. I think we just do it once more. Pull through all three. Okay, so our stitch count should have gone down to six, two, four, six, and I'm just going to cut this tail end down. Let's bring up a loop, cut our tail end down a little bit. You can use that for stuffing if you want to. Just push that tail end on the inside. Okay, so we only do that three times, and um, we should have a stitch count of six, two, four, six. And then we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm just going to count to six this time. So going into the next stitch, do a single crochet. So one, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, Next stitch, four. Next stitch, five. Then the last stitch, six. Okay. So hopefully you've got something that looks like this. We'll have a little bit more shape in the middle in, the, in a minute. So let's cut our yarn, pull that through. And taking our needle, we're going to sew the end closed. So we're going to do a little drawstring sewing. So we go into the next stitch, out through the next stitch. Then next stitch, out through the next stitch. Then next stitch, up, out through the next stitch. Then we're just going to sew to the middle. Okay, and cut our yarn. Okay, so that's our little strawberry shape like this. And all we want to do now is we're going to add some little white seeds 
So we're going to get some white yarn. I'm using all the wrong colours today for this project because red, the colours you never want to use on camera are black and white and red. <laughs> so I'm going to take a little bit of yarn, the white yarn. I'm just going to add a little knot to the very end. That'll catch on the inside, just bring it down to the end. And then pull that tight and then cut close to the knot. Then taking a yarn needle to the other end, thread that on. And we're going to begin by sewing into a stitch and out through another stitch. We're just going to sew on some little seeds. But at first, that little knot should, if we just give it a pull, pop on the inside and then it's stuck on the inside. So we're going to sew over slightly, come out somewhere else. And that creates a tiny little line, which is going to be our little strawberry seed. And again, just repeat that all the way around. Again, we've got another little seed. We're just going to create, it's like a face. I'm just going to create a few of these in different directions. So try and try and mix it up. When you're finished, we're just going to sew up to the top and cut and cut our yarn. Okay, so that's our little seeds sewn on. So we're going to bring back the green piece and then just sew that into onto the top of our strawberry. But first thing we're going to do is Taking the last piece of yarn we use, we're just going to sew over to the other side here to just secure that. And then sew both tail ends into the top of your strawberry, just coming out the bottom. Okay, do that for the other tail end as well. Sew down to the bottom. Pull nice and tight and then cut the ends. You might want to secure these a bit better. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to trim these down. Okay, and that is our finished little strawberry. Our tiny little wild strawberry is complete and we can add that to our other little wild strawberries and like I said if you want the leaf pattern that'll be available in the written pattern very soon on my website so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial I hope you managed to follow along and make some super cute little strawberries I really want to add these to like some amigurumi as some little accessories um, but you will find the written pattern coming very soon on my website member plus members get written patterns faster so do check out early bird access and member plus area on my website for exclusive patterns early bird access podcast and behind the scenes and so much more and a huge thank you to my current member plus members you guys are brilliant so uh, I will see you soon for some more crochet crafting fun and uh, thanks for watching. Bye!